Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today I want to talk to you about two things. One, this awesome spool of filament, and two, this awesome model. But before I talk about that, I need to talk a little bit about this. For those of you unaware, Magigoo, or as I fondly call it, Maginoob, is a bad adhesive glue. It is ridiculously good. I use this on all my machines, well, almost all my machines, and I go through this probably more than I go through uh, water in a day. Alas, this is not a plug for this, this stays here, but Magigoo have started this contest for design along with Cults 3D, which I will leave a link for in the video description. The idea is for you guys to create a practical design for a corporate gift, and there are lots of awesome prizes to be won, so make sure you check them out. As a bonus, I'll be one of the judges, so impress me. Back to this thing right here. So, a lot of companies send me filament for review, and I know that filament reviews aren't that popular unless it's something extremely extraordinary. So instead, what I've decided to do is, rather than do a filament review, I will print something awesome with the filament that they send me, and then just sort of like, you know, showcase both. So this spool of neon orange, which by the way, incredible spooling, was sent to me by SR3D Prints in UK. It is a spool of Mamor Robot Neon Orange. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, this is standard PLA and the color is absolutely awesome. And I wanted to find something interesting to print with it. In comes this little dude right here. As you can see, this is like, a, it's an awesome robot. It has like articulated hands and, and legs. And what's really special about this is that this prints in one piece and it prints without support. Yes, this is kind of like a new concept of a folding 3D print, which is, I, I think is absolutely awesome. It's been coming up on Facebook really uh, often quite recently. So I thought I'd give it a try. So the model is available for purchase at Fab365. I will leave link in the video description. And I think they're doing an awesome job with these models. However, this, this is printed at 125% scale, I think. But I did print a normal one for you guys to see. And this is it. This is how it prints. It, it literally just prints, hold on, let me get these out of the way. It prints like this on the built -in. As you can see, it's in one piece. And what you do is simply, these pretty much come off instantly. Then what you do is simply bend one side and the other. And then you fold the other two, three pieces without hopefully breaking them. Um, and then you just simply lock them in place. Come on. There you go. And the top one, tight tolerances. There you go, I have to push a little thingy in the middle. Um, so, it also comes with a couple of accessories. Uh, this little thing is one of them. You're supposed to print two, but I lost one. And this is kind of like an antenna. There's one for there, and then the other one should go in here. And if you think he, he doesn't look anything like you would want him to look, you can simply just cover his face. Now there are all two models. This is the other one, but as you can see, I had a few issues with strings. And what was happening is when it was printing, this arm came off and it just ruined the print completely. I tried it once more, but it happened again, unfortunately. So I tried it once more and that failed again. And the problem is that there is such a small, very minute contact area to the build plate that any kind of force just tips it off the build plate. So what I did was I print a larger one and that printed perfectly fine. But once again, I'm just gonna bend everything in place. Hopefully I don't break it. See, the good thing is that when you scale it even to a certain style, uh, to a certain size, it still prints really well and it still, well, closes itself or doesn't break off there. And, and these are awesome. These are absolutely awesome. And I think they're really, really cool. I think it's a really cool concept. But I thought to myself, okay, let's go bigger. So this guy was printed on the JG Aurora A5. Review coming hopefully next week. I, I think I scaled it to about 200%. This pretty much took all the build plate. And I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work because what happens is that the places where the joints are, uh, the larger you scale it up, the thicker they become. And PLA doesn't bend very well, it tends to snap. So this might not work, but we'll try it out. We're gonna try the first piece. Oh no, it bends. And try the second piece. Oh, the cracking. Third piece, four. Okay, so, so far, so good. Let's attach the bottom part first. Ooh. <laughs> and the top part. There. Oh, that is awesome. That is cool. And that is, this is the original size and that is the big size. And as you can see there, 
it's awesome. This this needs this needs a bit of TLC. This needs some spraying and some you know aging and everything. This looks very much like kind of like a 60s, 70s kind of TV robot. And I love this design. I absolutely approved. Go check out the link in the video description and support the creators. As for the filament itself, I think it's actually really easy to print with. There's not much to say it's PLA. It's, I, I think at, at this point in time, I think all PLAs are pretty much the same. I printed these at about 205 degrees. Tolerances varied between 1.74 and 1.76, so pretty much within margin. However, extra points for that, that spooling is, is just so satisfying. That is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave links in the video description for, well, everything. Make sure you also check out the Magic Goo Cults contest. Um, I'm really excited about that and I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. In the meantime, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Um, like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.